Hey folks, today we're going to be looking at the new at NX Nux plugin. In this video, we're going to go over what exactly is Nux and how does it fit inside of the Vue ecosystem. We're going to go over what an NX plugin is, and then we're going to go ahead and create a new workspace with multiple Nux projects in it so you can see some of the advantages of working inside of a monorepo. Let's go ahead and get right into it, starting with what is Nux. So as we can see, Nux is the intuitive Vue framework. Which is interesting because if you check out Vue's documentation, it describes itself as the progressive JavaScript framework. So what's the relationship between Vue and Nuxt? Well, Vue is actually a framework for specifically creating a front-end application. If all we wanted to do was create a web application that didn't talk to any external APIs, it just kept data locally, we could totally do that in Vue. However, if we did want to talk to other APIs, we'd have to reach for another framework like Express, for example, in order to create the backend application for our front-end application to talk to. This is where we see some differentiation between just plain old Vue and then Nux, because Nux is actually a full stack framework that's going to give you the tools you need to build things on the backend as well as on the front-end. Nux is going to give us the ability to write API endpoints and API middleware directly inside of our Nux project, which takes away a lot of the overhead of having to choose and work with a completely other framework for your backend code. When Nux builds then, it's going to take our backend code and put it into a server distributable inside of the .output directory of the build, as well as our front end code and put it into a .nux directory of the build. We then take that code and then deploy it out to a server or use a hosting service to put our application out on the web. And because this is a full stack framework where there's going to be both server and backend code, Nux is also going to help us with some of the enhancements that we can get from having a server integrated with our front end application, like server side rendering. Now, the relationship between Vue and Nux sounds very similar to the relationship between React and Next.js. You're absolutely right. That's pretty much where the name comes from. But I would actually strongly encourage you not to simply categorize this as just a Next.js, but for Vue. And that is simply because of the maturity of the ecosystem here. For example, if we look at the dev tools here on this application I have running using Next, we can see that they're actually very mature to the point where I have all kinds of heads up information that's actually pertinent to me when I'm thinking about the performance of my application. They even have this tool of targeting a specific element here in the browser, and if I click it, it's actually going to take me right into my IDE, right to the line where that element exists, which is kind of crazy. I really like that. But that's a very quick heads up explanation of what, what Nuxt is. Let's now jump into talking about NX and what the NX Nuxt plugin gives you as far as working together with Nuxt. All right, so just to focus in on NX really quick, uh, as an overview, NX is a tool to support having multiple applications or packages together in the same code repository. The way that this works is you define your workspace or your repo as a collection of projects. For example, I have on screen here, this is a tic-tac-toe workspace that actually includes multiple front-end applications and a back-end server. We also have some libraries here that are going to be used by both our front end and our back end code. The way that NX works is it's going to check your source code to understand how your different projects depend on each other. We can actually visualize this right here in VS Code by pressing Command Shift P and typing in show full project graph. On screen here, we can actually see a visualization of all the projects in our workspace and how they depend on each other. And the edges on our dependency graph here are actually being determined by our source code. For example, we can see, if we click over to here, there is a import statement here inside of the multiplayer application that is importing from the Tic-Tac-Toe logic project. So that is why this edge here exists between the multiplayer project and the Tic-Tac-Toe logic project. Now, NX is going to use this information about how projects in your workspace depend on each other when it comes to task running. In an NX workspace, you use NX for task running, meaning whenever you want to build a project, for example, you use the NX CLI to run that build. For example, here we'll build the multiplayer application. NX is actually going to understand how the different builds depend on each other. So our multiplayer applications build actually requires that both our tic-tac-toe view library as well as the tic-tac-toe logic library gets built beforehand so we can use those artifacts inside of the build for the multiplayer. So without even realizing it, NX ordered those builds to make sure those libraries got built first and then we ended up building our multiplayer application. 
And because we use the NXCLI to run that build, we also remembered which code was used to create that artifact. And now if you ever try to create the same artifact against the same code, NX is just going to replay the result as we recorded just now. Now here's where things get interesting for Nuxt. Because the NX ecosystem also supports plugins, which are optional packages that you can install as a dev dependency to your workspace. And this will make working with a certain technology much easier. Now importantly, you don't actually need a plugin in order to work with other technologies most of the time. But this is going to make things much easier, as we'll see here in our demonstration of using the Nux plugin. So let's go ahead and add the Nux plugin to our existing workspace we were looking at before, our little tic-tac-toe workspace. To do this, I can open up a terminal, and I'll use PMPM, which is the package manager I'm using in this project, to add the package. So I'll say PMPM add as a dev dependency at nx slash nuxt. All right, so by downloading this package, we've now essentially installed this plugin into our current workspace. So now if I use the NX CLI to generate a new application, we can see that we're given an option of different applications we want to generate here based on the different plugins I have installed currently in the workspace. So I actually want to create a Nuxt application now, so I'll click on that. And for the name of this application, let's call it Nuxt for now. And we'll skip unit testing and we'll skip end-to-end -end testing as well. And for styles, we'll use CSS. And there we go. We've actually now generated a new project in our file system called Nuxt. Let's go ahead and take a look at it now just by looking at the file explorer. We can see here inside of our apps directory, there's a new Nuxt directory here. And this has everything we need for our Nuxt application. Also, if we open up the project graph again here, we'll be able to see the new Nux project now inside of our graph. However, currently this package is isolated as there's no dependencies on any other projects yet. Now, if I want to run this application, I can actually open up a terminal here and we'll run the command nx serve nuxt. And this is going to serve up the entire Nuxt application locally so that we can develop on it here. At this point, any kind of knowledge I have about Nux should be immediately applicable, and I can actually come into my IDE and start working on my Nux project as I would anywhere else. So for example, if I wanted to create a new tic-tac-toe project, I could just come into my file system here. We can create a new component inside of here and call it tic-tac-toe.view. Here we could provide a quick little template, and now we should be able to use it here in our index file. So rather than the NX welcome here, we can, for example, use the tic-tac-toe component. Now there's our tic-tac-toe component, and we can use the dev tools as we had seen to take us right there. Now we can see we step forward in time a little bit because I've imported some assets from the tic-tac-toe logic package that I had created earlier. And this gives us some nice utilities like creating an empty board and advancing to the next state of our tic-tac-toe state, as well as this TypeScript interface to tell us what the shape of our state is going to look like. So from here, we can actually just set this up using the use state nuxt hook here inside of our setup script. And now using our template, we can create a simple board and use that next state utility function in order to advance our state whenever a user clicks on a button. So because that server is still running, we can just open up the application here inside of localhost 4200. Now we can kind of play the game as a single player and see everything kind of updating as we expect. So cool, we're actually able to leverage a lot of the code we had already written for other applications inside of the tic-tac-toe logic package in order for us to use it inside of our Nuxt application here. And now if we take a look at the project graph again, we can see that NX now knows there's a dependency on the Nuxt application onto the tic-tac-toe logic project because of our tic-tac-toe view component right here. So that's a very brief overview of NX, Nuxt, and NX and Nuxt together. Hopefully this has been a helpful video for our NX users who maybe aren't familiar with Nuxt, as well as any new Nuxt viewers who may not be familiar with NX. But please let us know in the comments if anything's unclear, or come hang out in our Discord server if you want to keep the conversation going. In general, we're super excited to start supporting Nux now inside of NX Workspaces, and we've been looking forward to this ever since we introduced view support last year. Be sure to check out our live conversation with Nux creator and maintainer, Daniel Rowe. I'll make sure to provide a link in the description below. Until next time, y'all, keep working hard, and we'll see you next time. Peace.